Hi, I'm Paul Reeser with Reeser Group Sonics. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here at the backstage of Millennium Studios in Shreveport, Louisiana. This is the movie studio where films like Olympus Has Fallen, The Expendables, and Trespass were filmed right here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Hey Paul, what are you doing backstage at Millennium Studios? <laughs> well look, it's Adam Askew. Adam works in marketing at the Reeser Group, but he used to be in the film industry, so I know you're no stranger to Millennium Studios. That's right. But the reason I'm here hey today... Hey Adam, hey Paul, what are y'all doing here on the movie lot? Paul, did you get a certificate of insurance to be here? It's okay, Rebecca. It's Rebecca Stinson. She works in HR at the Reeser Group, and she makes sure we do everything legal. The reason I'm here today, Rebecca, is we're... Whoa! Okay, I'm still backstage at Millennium Studio, but before I get interrupted again, ah, let me tell you why. It's because working in a Sonic is a lot like being in a movie production. Let me show you why. Come with me. Now our customers come to us expecting a great meal, of course, but they also expect a great experience. And it's up to all of us to play our roles to make sure this is a great production. Now if your position is a car hop, think of yourself as an actor and that parking lot is your stage. If you're working the speaker station, you're not just a speaker operator. Think of yourself as a DJ and that's your own personal radio station. Have fun with it. And if you're working in the kitchen, you're not just a cook. You're a celebrity chef. In order for us to have a great production, the first thing to remember is the show must go on. Now for the show to go on, everyone has to show up. We really depend on each other to be there when we're scheduled to be there. If anyone's missing, your absence is felt. Our customers need the whole team in order for us to be as fast as possible. Now the rest of the team, hey, we cover for each other. If somebody can't show up, sometimes there's a good reason, but it really puts a stress on everybody. Let's hear from some of our great employees about what it feels like when someone doesn't show up for their shift. When a person uh, calls in for whatever reason, doesn't show up, um, I always liken it to like you're on a sports team. Every member of that team depends upon the next person standing next to them. I mean, you're in it together. And at no other place does that apply more so than Sonic. Yeah, if somebody doesn't show up, it makes it harder on everybody else. Not just the car hops, but also the cooks and the managers. It just makes it harder on everyone if one person doesn't show up. And I don't think people really realize that. I walk in and they hit me with it. Like when they first, when I first walk in, and the manager's on duty, they go, "Well, such and such call in," and I'm like, "Oh my God, not today! Really, not for this." <laughs> so remember, the first thing is, show up. The next thing we have to remember is on time. It puts a lot of stress on everybody if any of us show up late. So we need to show up on time. And the third thing to remember is ready to work. We don't want to come running in right at the last minute, but our uniform's not on, we're not ready to work, because that's not really showing up on time. So if you'll do those things, it helps us make sure the show goes on. Show up, on time, ready to work. The second thing to remember for a great production is we are always on stage. We have to look clean cut and professional all the time. Our customers expect that from us. You wouldn't expect to be at Disney World, walk up to a princess hoping to get an autograph, and instead find her on break. So 
So just like that Disney princess, we have to remember that we're always on stage. The customers are always watching. So when you're walking into the Sonic, be sure you're in full uniform, even when you're just clocking in. And no matter what job we're doing, it doesn't matter if we're sweeping the parking lot or even taking out the trash. The customer's watching us, and we must act responsibly and professionally at all times. Now imagine if a customer drives onto our lot. It's beautiful and clean, and they get their order taken from a DJ on their own personal radio station. They're expecting to see a car hop, clean, sharp dressed, coming out and delivering their order like a movie star. We never want to disappoint them by acting or looking less than our best. Hey, how's it going today, lady? Got you the burgers, some fries, anything else? No, thanks. Cool, have a great day. No, 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 no. Let's try that again. Let's see how that's supposed to be done. Now this brings us to the final stage of our production. Always keep them coming back for more. You know, when things go well at a Sonic, customers love us and they keep coming back. But every once in a while, we might have a little problem and things don't go exactly right. That's why we have a sign in every Sonic that says, the answer's yes, what's the question? And what that means is, our customers are always asking, can you help me? And our answer is always yes. Paul, 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 Paul. Well, hi, Ashlyn. A customer got a hamburger with cheese on it, but they didn't want cheese. Can you help me? Hmm. Now, what would make that customer happy? A hamburger. That's right. You know that sign that's on the wall that says the answer is yes, what's the question? Yes, sir. That's what that means. Customers are always asking us, can you help me? And our answer is always yes. So to help this customer, all we have to do, make them a hamburger and run it right back out to them. Okay, I can do that? Yes. All right. So, what if a customer ordered french fries, but they got tater tots? Should I just bring them out french fries? Okay. What if a customer says that they ordered a large drink, but the ticket says they ordered a medium drink? Should I just bring them out a large drink? So, what if a customer says the last time they were here, we left something off their order? Should I just believe them and bring it out to them? Okay, now I understand. So when there's a mess up on order, the customer is really asking us if we can help them. And the answer is, yes we can. That's perfect, that's exactly right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go help out this customer. Thank you. Hi there, ma'am. Hi, I'm so sorry about that again. This time I have your Sonic hamburger without the cheese. And then I have two free medium drinks for you. Oh. So come back next time and see how well we can do. Okay. Have Thanks. a great day, ma'am. So that's really all there is to it. If we're going to put on a great production for our guests, we all have to work together. We have to remember that if we're a car hop, hey, we're an actor. If we're answering the speaker, we're a DJ with our own radio station. And working in that kitchen, you're a celebrity chef. Remember what we talked about today. The show must go on. We depend on each other to show up on time, ready to work. And we're always on stage. We want to make sure the customer doesn't ever see you acting in a way that doesn't represent Sonic in the best light possible. We don't want to be there without our full uniform on like a Disney princess taking a break. And certainly the most important thing, keep them coming back for more. Sometimes we make mistakes, but as long as we remember the answer is yes, what's the question, we'll be able to handle that and have those customers coming back for more. So thanks so much for your time. Thanks for paying attention, writing those notes, and welcome to the cast.